Hey, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in here bleaching out some skulls and I'm gonna show y'all how I do it to where you can get the brightest, whitest looking skulls that you can get with any other method that I've ever used. I really like doing it this way and I think that y'all are going to be impressed. So stay tuned. All right, here we go. So what I do is, y'all have probably seen products like this in taxidermy shops. This is basic white. You can also use quick white powder. And this is uh, 40 volume peroxide. What I do is I mix up a consistency about like that. You don't really want it where it's liquid, where it will just, where it will almost just stick to that brush. What that'll do is it'll get on your skulls and it will stick on there without running all off and hold that powder in place so that it gets a whole lot wider and gives it time to absorb. I'm gonna show you a little trick that'll make this work so much better. It took me way too long to figure this out. And I wish I had known it a long time ago, but a couple years ago, I started doing this and it is makes a world of difference. So you can see over here, this is, you know, skulls, standard old, just got done macerating. They're ready to go. You see over here, I've got these skulls all peroxide coated with the, with the basic white and have got them wrapped in uh, saran wrap and y'all can see this skull right here. I took it out yesterday Y'all can see how bright that skull is I mean just really white really clean color All right, so let me show y'all how I do this Just makes it a little bit easier See if I can find a place to set this camera Y'all can see what I'm doing here. I've got this tub, which is probably about a nine by 13, just a rubber make container. That way you can put the lid back on it. Uh, whenever you get done with it, you don't ever have to clean all this mess out. You can save some of this stuff. It actually lets you reuse it a little bit. So I just take this and set it down in here. Then you can take a brush and just pretty much stuff the skull with it. That way you can get it in all of the, the holes and cracks and crevices. If you get any on the antlers, you don't have to panic, but make sure that you wipe it off the antlers before you leave it because it will turn the antlers white. You can do this with a uh, paintbrush. It actually works a lot better getting in some of these cracks and crevices. Uh, but if you do it, you probably want to get you something with a uh, nylon bristle because it eats regular horsehair brushes to pieces. The, the peroxide will actually dissolve the brush. But, and it still does work better. Uh, the horsehair brushes work really well if you don't mind just throwing them away every once in a while and buying you some new ones. Those softer bristles can kind of get in there a little bit better. And all you're doing is just pretty much cramming this thing full of that liquid. Like I said, wipe your horns off, get all this mess off of them horns. You don't want them turning white. And if you're gonna wipe it on your clothes, make sure you don't care about your clothes either because they're also gonna turn white. That's why most of the time when y'all see me in my shop, I'm wearing the same outfit. <laughs> all right, now, 
What I do is, once I get to that point, take your saran wrap, just lay your skull on top of it. Just like that. And what I do is, come up around the burr, like that. The same thing on the other side. Bring it around the burr on both sides and stick it to itself. Bring the front up over the nose, stick it to the top, and I pull the sides up over the nose. And just kind of mash that down a little bit to where there's, where it's all stuck to itself basically. Sure to get all that mess off the antlers. And that's what you're going to end up with. And that's going to need to sit for about a week. You can let it sit a little bit longer than that if you'd like. But uh, let me show y'all something right here. Get one of these that's already done it's ready to be sprayed off this one has been sitting uh let's see today is today is friday these have been sitting since friday of last week so it's been right at a week long and y'all can see on this skull see we're starting to turn into almost like a powder it, it kind of foams up See where it's foamed up inside that nose and it expands. And what that does is it fills in all those cracks and gaps and anywhere you had uh, tissue running through the, the skull. But also what this saran wrap does is it prevents it from getting dry and, and just flaking off of the skull too. It holds that moisture in and it just, it'll just sit there and just absorb into that bone for seven days. And you end up getting white all the way through the entire bone structure. And that's what gives it such a good, clean look. Spray this off and I'll show y'all what we're looking at here. Get over here in the light y'all can see how white that is already and it's wet it'll continue to brighten as it dries and two look how clean see how clean the bone is how clean the skull is even up in the sinus cavity and y'all that is that's just straight cold water maceration i left it in those tubs for about two months took it out sprayed them off put them in a pot of boiling water for about five minutes uh, basically all that does, I put a little bit of Dawn dishwasher liquid in there. It helps to, to uh, degrease it and it also kills all the bacteria and junk all over it. <clears throat> but anyway, like I said, that right there has, has been almost zero labor. I mean, I literally cut the heads off these deer, put them in coolers, let them sit, and then sprayed them off and put peroxide on them. But that right there is the key. Uh, once you get your skulls to that point where they're clean, put that peroxide on them, wrap them up in saran wrap, and let them sit for a week. I'm telling you, y'all will be extremely impressed with the results. It's going to look better than any other way I figured out to do it. I used to paint that stuff on there, and you can put it out in the sun, and the heat will help uh, too, but I ended up having to do it two or three times to get them to look that white. That right there is a one-step process. I said it takes a week, but it's a one-and-done kind of deal. Once you, once you mess with them once, 
leave them alone. And then you mess with them one more time and then you're finished and you go to the house and you've got a great looking product. So anyway, y'all subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. We will see y'all on the next one.